The reason why we have this camp is, uh, is twofold. The first is to get these students involved in their education, to have a baseline in terms of what they need to learn and you know some of the challenges that they have in education. And the other piece is the cultural piece, which is uh, things that they need to learn of their background and where they came from and who they are. So we have a mixture of the cultural piece mixed with uh, the STEM piece and at the end of the day, hopefully they can mesh these two programs together. So like yesterday we had a um, hundred pennies and we had to decide which like, percentage of the water on earth goes to like oceans, lakes, rivers, or streams and stuff. That was fun. Well, we try to keep it really interactive. We want the kids to not just listen, but do. So we try to have them participate with the activities as much as we can. We've brought our children up here to the Earth Connections Camp for almost eight years now. A very great opportunity for our, our youth. Uh, most of our children for the Urban Indian Center, they do have uh, limited access to daycare or don't have access to um, programs that are designed for American Indian children. So it's, it's a great opportunity for our children to get involved with the STEM and get involved with understanding our cultural values. I thought this was important from the very beginning because Indian tribes have ownership of many, many water uh, rights and land rights on our native lands. And it's important for our youth to be able to know how this impacts their community. They have to know legally what impacts them as Indian nations. And going into the future, we have so many of our natural resources, uh, water, land, uh, minerals, oil, whatever it may be, with uh, all kinds of companies around us just waiting to get their hands on it. We as Indian people need to be able to protect our rights to these natural resources. So Earth Connection is a great way for our community to empower themselves. We mix cultural information with STEM teachings about water, about land, about plants, animals, and indigenous peoples. And uh, the whole state of Utah, we're right here in this beautiful, beautiful place that we all share. It's good for us to know the history of this place. Who lived here? I thread it through. I'm still going backwards. It really makes me feel happy because, like, we were like here, like we were here, and we helped make this country great. This camp has helped me with um, like history classes because then, like, when like I go and learn about like Native Americans, like I've already like known, like, because of my this camp and like my grandma and stuff. So it just like I already know about it. So it's just like fun to like see what other teachers say about it. It makes me feel like a ton better to like just like understand like what it means for me and like my family and everything and makes my family happy and me happy.